Okay, we're going to try the feeding video here. Whoop. Little wiggle worm Stilgar here is hungry. You can see. Come here, sweetie. You can see that his um his milk band has faded from his last feeding. It'll be bigger when we're done. He was heating up his syringe and some hot water there. <clears throat> Just have to make sure it's not too, too hot. Still pretty warm yet. Now the trick is, with feeding like this, you want to make sure that any excess formula coming out of the syringe runs down the syringe away from the baby and not into their face where it could uh, drown them. There you go, buddy. Now we're going to do 0.15 cc for a little three gram friend. You want the baby as close to laying on their belly as you're able to get them with all of their squirming. Come here, sweetie. I know, I know, you fell off. Dear. Dear. All right. Well, you always seem willing to drink more. I don't want you to actually explode, my sweet. So we will wipe your face. Wipe your face. Have a look at your little tummy. Oh my goodness, look at your big milk band. Yeah. It's gonna be all gone again in just two hours because you have the metabolism I wish I had. Now we're going to help you potty. <clears throat> I'm really not putting any pressure at all on this Q-tip. I'm just kind of very lightly rolling it where it can almost tickle. And then get the potty flow started. Because this is going on every two hours, if you act, if you put any pressure at all on the Q-tip, they will be raw in very short order. So you just want to very lightly tickle the area and get things going. He has peed. Do you need to poop, honey? Do you need to poop? Sometimes he doesn't need to go poop until he's had a chance to wiggle around his enclosure after his meal. 
but it looks like he's making some poops. Holy moly. My goodness, kiddo. That's, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right. All right, good job. Good job. Good job, little bean. All right, Stilgar. That was your 10 o'clock feeding. We'll see you again at noon.